Hey guys, what's up? It's Jeff here, Stock Swinger, popping on for a few plays here this week, couple to keep your eye out on a shorter term swing, and then a longer play that I've played a few times, and I love the stock, it's got a lot of potential, we'll talk about that in a second. First of all, I want to thank everyone already, I'm only a little under two weeks on YouTube, I'm already at 511 subscribers, a ton of comments, a ton of likes, a ton of views already, 3,000 views, 5,000 views, and a lot of questions too. I got back with every single one of you guys, and I haven't had one negative thing on any of my videos, which is super awesome. Unbelievable. I can deal with it, but it's super cool. That means I might be doing something a little bit right. But again, like I told you guys in the very beginning, I've always liked YouTube. I like the interaction of it, and it gives me something to do when I do these videos at, at, in the nighttime while I'm waiting for a little bit of pre-market. Then I take a nap and get up for the real market. So super awesome, you guys. All I can ask for is like and subscribe if you like them. Again, thanks for trusting me on early on. And again, this is all not financial advice, right? These are just plays that I'm in, I'm doing with good entry points, exit points, stop losses, and all of that stuff. Um, one other thing before we get into the plays here is I wanted to touch up really quickly on how I'm going to do the channel. Um, if you guys noticed in the About Me section when I put this in here first, I put in the in here is I want to do a, a straight forward approach. You know, like I said, I do a few videos a week on some plays, give you guys an idea of entries and exits and targets and stop losses and all that and be done with the video. Now, the reason why is I'm doing these videos at night. You guys, there's two reasons why one I'm doing them at night from home. You know, about this time at night is when I'm going to do them, you know, eight, nine, 10 o'clock my time here in Washington. And the other reason is I don't want to drag these videos out. Like I said in my uh, About Me section, I want to make them to the point. And the reason why is all the years I'm watching YouTube, no matter what it is, whether it's stocks or you're looking up a recipe, I, my pet peeve is going into, you know, making a video 13 minutes long when you have about four minutes worth of information in there. And I hope you guys can appreciate that. The other thing is, too, is I'm pretty sure... 99.9% .9 of everyone out there is not going to grab, especially a 500 new, 500 subscriber new YouTuber and just go, oh God, he's buying that stock. Let me go hop on Robinhood and buy it. <laughs> right? So I know everybody's going to do their DD out there, but I'm just sharing my plays that I do. Um, I do this stuff about four hours a day in an office. There's four of us that meet up and I answered a question in one of the comments on how, you know, how I get my plays, but I have four of us, a pretty tight group of guys. Um, we all specialize in certain sectors, get together, do some charting and figure out our plays. So that's how we do them. And like I said, I'll say it one more time is I don't want to drag these videos out. I honestly don't, you guys. So I hope you appreciate that. Stick with me here. Um, as far as the other plays here, we had some good ones. We've hit some targets, even targets one and two. We did hit target three back in one of the earlier videos here. Um, these, a lot of these, I stopped out on a couple of them in there. The newer swings, these are still in action here, and we hit some targets on a couple of them in there. So check those videos out. Not the super old ones, you guys, but the ones that are three, four days old, right? Makes sense. So thanks a ton, you guys. Any questions ever, feel free and leave them with me in the comments, and I'll get back to every one of them. OK, uh, first one I want to go over here. This is a longer hold um, NNDM nano dimensions. Now, I played this thing. This is when I first bought in. Yeah, this was way back in October for 220 a share. I bought in a thousand shares at 220. I think I was out around four something in that play. And then I bought them again here at four something, was it? Oh, at 527, that filled there too. And this was back in October. We played that twice as a swing back in October. Um, long term, I really like this stock. I had somebody ask me about this one. This is one that I have in my retirement account. I don't have a ton of shares in it, but this is one I'll play right now that I'm going to add more to my retirement play. I am personally looking for this about four to six months out, maybe a little bit longer, but I don't see any dipping going on here. I see this gradually going up. So on this one, you guys, ideal entry would be anything below eight bucks. If you're not getting in this week or 
you know, in the next couple weeks, look for a target under eight bucks. I put 780 in here, you guys, but we're looking for $14 plus. Um, this could run higher, you know, the 14, $18 range, but a good target you guys to shoot for, and at least I'm shooting for is $14 plus in about a four to six month type of a range. Okay. So good stock, great company, great fundamentals. I really do like this one. This one's kind of seen its bottom here, I think. So adding shortly, uh, I'm going to definitely be adding some more on that one. Um, next one is ODT. This one here, we're sitting at about 348, roughly a good idea, uh, you know, good entry in there. 352 or under I put in here is where I entered. I think I entered at 352. Um, this one, you guys were looking at 380 and then four. I wouldn't look for a target three. If we run up anything past 380 or so, I would start taking some profits. But this is a nice little swing. This play shouldn't take too long again. Not financial advice. And I can't give a dang time frame. Nobody can. Anybody who says they can is lying through their teeth, right? But this one, you guys, nice little stock. Good little potential here. This shouldn't be terribly a long of a swing like I was mentioning, probably, you know, a week, two weeks or so. But this is a good little play here. I like this one. On to CUEN. This thing could rip. Um, I played this one. I didn't actually, my partner played this one, but I had it on my list. I didn't get in. We're going to play it again here. Ideal entry right about now. Look for that 375. Anything 380 and under would be a good one. Um, this one here targets forward about 430 between targets one and two. And this has a potential, in my opinion, to really rip here. This is one you want to keep an eye on because this thing could start moving very quickly here. I'm going to definitely watch this in pre-market. I'm going to watch it when the bell rings and play it by ear. But this has the potential, in my opinion, to really run on us here, you guys. So keep an eyeball on that one. Um, remember, you guys, very important what I'm doing. This is just my how I play my swing trades is down on the bottom, the starter positions, then adding along the way until you're full into your positions and a stop loss at about 5 to 7%. This is what I do not financial advice. I know I've said that a million times, but I think we got to, right? Now, I also had a couple other questions as far as, well, you know, how do you know when you're in 100%? Are you doing a portion of your portfolio? In my real portfolio, I kind of play it by ear. You know, I, I don't take a lot of huge, huge risks on plays, but allocating certain percentages, you know, if you're with a a $500 count, you're going to do something different than a $10,000 count, obviously, right? But I can't really give any advice on what I'm doing there. But as a general rule, that starter position, 5 to 20%, and then you're adding along the way until you're fully in. Sometimes you might hit target, sometimes you might get out. But again, that's part of swing trading. Obviously, you guys can look up videos on that. Again, I'm going to do a swing trade update video too here shortly when I get enough time to do it. Um, but there's a ton of them out there. And obviously, you guys probably already know about swings and why you're looking for certain potential ones out there doing your due diligence and maybe getting into the plays. So I think most of you, you guys got that down. So I'll try to get that video rolling here sometime. But that's it, you guys, for now. Again, Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. This has been so much fun. People from different countries commenting. I had one guy, Barcelona, and then he brought another guy in from Barcelona. All positive, you guys. Super, super fun. Glad you guys joined me. Glad you like the, the channel, the swing plays and all that. Do your own due diligence, okay? Remember, never financial advice. Just sharing what I'm doing and what I think on some certain plays. But that's it, you guys. Awesome. If you can like and subscribe, that would be super duper awesome. That's all I can ask for, you guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Night-night.